Our quick morning meeting is over. We're going farming. No time to waste this morning. Oil is good. We're getting things warming up. We're gonna go look at the tracks on uh, the cart over here. We're a little bit concerned about the mud and the trash in it because we don't want it to start freezing and cause a lot of problems. I don't think it'll be pushing the track over at all. Pushing the, uh, on the alignment lugs? No, I don't think so. Well, they look to be somewhat lubricated, I guess, anyway. <laughs> what a disaster. I don't think it would have worked out nicely to dump on top of that. That's better. Corn's not a lot better. Just going for a cruise on the lake this morning. You can see the grass waving in the waves. I hate end rows, guys. They're so slow, we end up standing and dumping a lot because you can't get going on the go. Do you call them end rows or headlands? This was a Twitter argument a while back. Which one is it? We've always called them end rows. Or maybe you call them something really awesome that I haven't even ever heard of before. Do I send Jim through this? I don't know, this is... This is pretty deep. Yeah, I don't know about this. No problems getting through that at all? Sloppy. Everything is sloppy. High moisture. For now, we finished up some of our corn that was laying down. We've got much better corn over here. Getting a much better yield out of it. It is a little bit higher moisture. But overall, I'm a lot happier harvesting this corn than I was way over, over yonder. She's spinning. Got a lot of weight on that baby going up a hill. Quick pit stop time. Oh, she's a little breezy out here. A little bit of cab corn, but I think John Deere designed this cab with me in mind. Because I've tried to put more cab corn on it than that, and it just never piles up. Unless it's just that dang windy that it blows it all off. Oh, this bathroom is a mess. These rows here are rows that we left yesterday. We've got some more up the road, but we left them for the insurance guy to come take a look at so that he has some frame of reference as to what the condition is of the corn. We just left some rounds stripped all the way across the field so that he can come out and see what it looked like before we harvested versus after and then do his ear count. Does it look like I'm full? The wind is blowing it. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm full. I was really hoping to finish off that round and not have to drive over here again. Because I don't have Jim with me now, he's helping Dad transfer some trucks. But, it is what it is. This, right in here, is corn that I cannot pick up. It pushes on the head and it builds up like that. I was kind of hoping the wind would blow that in there. I need a reel like Randy has. Then I could grab that and pull it right back in. He's got a really cool corn header reel. I don't. Come on. Come on, still? Let's try the old back up and then reverse forward quick method. Oh, oh. Here we go. There we go. Come on. Just drive really fast at seven miles an hour into the wind. Now well, it's down low enough, it'll go. So let's think about this. I just stopped a half a million dollar combine from moving for five minutes so that I could feed, what? Three dollars worth of corn into the header? Economics. Straight up the road to the next field, I got Jim watching over the hill for me to make sure we're all clear. Looking out here, I can see we got more corn laying down. This year, it's just every brand, every hybrid, every farmer around here, everybody's corn is looking like that, and it just keeps getting worse by the day. You see, the landlord's already got his rake out here. And his baler. 
He's got bales going, so he's got cattle. He likes to pull a few cornstalk bales every year. Looks like he's got some lakeshore property out here right now. That's a bizarre color combination. You can see the corn is standing much better here. It's much better looking corn. The leaves are still tattered from wind, but it's uh, taller, better looking corn. Funny part is it's actually not yielding as good and it's the same hybrid and it's one mile away. No rhyme or reason to it, just inconsistency. That does it for this field and for a couple of fields down in this area. The plan now is to drop the header, get everything headed home with the corn, and then uh, take this machine home and switch pro drive shifting and switch this machine over to soybeans and get going on that because I'm hoping that this machine is going to carry in the soybean field a lot better than the one on the duels was than the 9870 was yesterday. Plus we did have wind all night and it's actually it's like 55 degrees and sunny and windy today so we know everything is drying so we're going to switch things over and go try it. Keep tarping Nate. I'll just keep eating M&Ms. Off we go. Back to the ranch. Rawr! Come on, come on, I'll take you, I'll take you. Oh, jeez, I poke you in the eye? Huh? Too excited. Time for the go-go juice. Dinosaur bones, whatever you want to call them. Full, back to work. I got the whole convoy behind me. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys how easy this machine is to switch over. I had to pull one knob and two little levers and it took me close to 40 seconds probably to switch this thing over for soybeans. This is already way drier looking at, at least on top than it was yesterday, which is good. I'm sure it's still really wet underneath, but huge improvement from late yesterday. And now I got this machine on tracks, which is gonna go through a lot more than that 9870. So we'll grab the head here and get to work. Opening. I sure wish our corn header was this wide. There's what happened yesterday, so I'm hoping this machine floats through this a lot better. It should have dried a little bit, obviously still wet, but it should have dried a little bit, plus this machine should go through things considerably better. Should. It's looking pretty good inside there. Might want to close the sieves down a couple of numbers. We got a few pieces of chaff in there, but overall pretty good. The beans are way way drier now after they've been through a couple more freezes and some more sunny days and so things are just threshing out so much better than they were a week ago when we started when we had those ugly green pods in the tank oh yeah i don't i couldn't see how much it was sinking in or not but i didn't have to grab the wheel or use the brakes and just left it right on auto steer and it went straight through that same spot well i would sure say that the tracks from this machine are much less than the tracks from the other machine yesterday this is an original homesteaded piece by our family we've had this for over 140 years i have never in my lifetime seen water right here ever this is never a problem i can't believe how wet this is this is unbelievable work is driving 800 miles without stopping for a bathroom break as long as I'm out here it's about time to pop out and check the job that it's doing and I forgot my flashlight so I'm not gonna go far good to go how did the step get all muddy it's weird back and forth you guys hear that Farmers Business Network is having a killer chemical sale on their online store November 15th through the 30th. Check it out. You can even save $100 now if you sign up for a membership using the Millennial Farmer as a reference. Of course, that's only if you prefer getting some sweet deals on chemistry. That's it. It's almost 1 a.m. again. I am sick and tired of sitting in here for the night. I'm done. I'm out. Bye. Morning, Didge. Morning, I, I... 
Ah. We shut down last night, everything is running good. This morning, first thing, we got a gate stuck on top of the bin. Got that cranked loose with a pipe wrench. Grabbed the other bin to transfer beans to a different bin, and the cable pulled apart. So I got to climb up on top of the bins and yank one of those gates open by hand. Not a big deal, but it's annoying. Now we got pits that aren't moving. Auger's not doing anything. The auger's fine, but something's jammed up or not moving. I don't know what. What is it, Anna? What's the deal? Didge? So this auger is supposed to automatically stay on when there's a load on the motor, which it's doing right now, and things are moving, but it'll probably stop again. Now it's going. Looks like they're going faster. Yeah, they're moving pretty quick now. I think we got it open now. That was a nice little warm up. 36 degrees out and starting to rain a little bit. There was only a 20% chance of rain. So far they were 80% wrong I guess. At one time this was actually a, a wheel. It took some damage. But it's only been that way for about 12 years. It's this very specific tool for opening that up. It's clear. Not a thing is moving again. Be careful, girls. Those are GMO. She's flowing again. I don't know what's going on, why we gotta run that flapper up so high. It was running fine last night with it closed fully. That way we can run both pits. But more annoying is the moisture coming out of the clouds. You can't do much of that before the soybeans won't feed in. And we were really hoping to get started right away this morning. Well, the idea is to go a few miles north today. We got a pretty large field up there we want to knock out, so I'm going to go put some fuel in, but you can see the rain or the sprinkles building up on the windshield, and it looks like there's a dark line to the west, so better check radar and see if we're going to have to rethink our plans for the day here. According to this, it's mostly past us, but there's snow way down there. Obviously, the mud is not good for things getting in there and rubbing on stuff and it's no good but we've been pushing out what we can and as soon as we push it out it ends up right back in there not good it is what it is I can't tell after it goes through that big eye hook which one it is we're trying to switch the cable here to switch from that wet bin back to that one but the cable stuck on something up there no, it's stuck on something. I'm getting so sick of climbing things. I don't even like heights at all. One level higher. Okay. Can you tell what's going on? It's a good thing I'm built like Michael Phelps or else this could get awkward. Did I change that? Try pulling! You can't move either one? That's one of them, right? That's the other one? What in the world? Yeah, now it seems right. I didn't do anything. You really don't want to take a wrong step from here. But it's a beautiful view of wet fields. You think I should come down now or just stay up here until the next problem? Well, we think we got the dryer running after a long morning of twisting up cables and spouts and flappers and whatever else. I'm gonna go fuel up the combine and we're gonna head north, try to take out some more beans. The mist quit falling down, so we're hoping that things are gonna go good. It really never got anything wet. It just kept falling on us for a while. Looks like we gotta meet with the neighbor first and have an official rural road meeting of the mines. I've never seen anything like it. I wish we could dump on the go, but this field is quite cut up and we're still taking off end rows. We got a ravine and some trees in front of us. It's a fun field, it's a big field, but it's an interesting one. Heck of a view from on top of the hills back here. I can't get up the hill. Just like Jack and Jill, or they, they fell down the hill. Different different deal all around. I'm gonna have to 
gonna have to rethink this. Try to crab walk it here a bit, go around those tracks. The problem with going in the tracks is the platform likes to grab that mud. And that's, uh, I don't I don't like pulling mud into a machine or onto the head. Now he could hardly get up the hill. Oh, I'm sliding, oh, I'm sliding. Can't stop. This is a large machine to be sliding down a hill. Oh, I'm gonna take this guy's driveway out. I can't do anything. Look at those slide marks. What a mess. All right. Wheels are cranked. Brakes are being drug. Twisting. Jeez, I can't do anything. I'm just gonna have to go forward. Oh. Huh. I'm actually in quite a predicament here. I can't run the camera with both hands, so got you on the corner post and I'm trying to wiggle out of this but I keep sliding towards this guy's driveway which would be a real problem if I got in there holy jeez I can't get out of here guys try straight up the hill grab walking big time come on we're gonna kick things on she didn't like that horsepower. Ah, come on. Whew. I think I'm almost out. Nope. Sliding. Dirt tracking. Come on. You gotta be almost on top. Something's not right. This is still just that greasy. Brakes. You think that's so much? That's all it was. That was amazing. I've never experienced anything like that. I think we're okay. Now I'm a little sweaty. 23 and 2. Um, you should check my Instagram story. And uh, 2, just a heads up, we're not going to want to take that hill next to that guy's driveway anymore. I don't know if I'd call it fun or not, but I'd call it interesting. I thought we were getting a lot done. That red machine is covering some ground. Holy smokes. Looking good back there. Looks like uh, I'm getting kicked out. I, I got the rig a little muddy. I wasn't trying. If you can see that area up there, that that's that's what some of this is from. Looks like he decided to go more up and around of the problem area. Solid plan. You're doing a great job. Thanks, man. It looks cold out there. Yeah. Well, see you later. <laughs> you have something to do with this? No, you're not a chew toy. Here, you go there. <gasps> my hands are frozen, but now my lawn is winterized.